Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my egg collection for my triops. This will also work for fairy shrimp and brine shrimp as well. One prerequisite is that you need to be using large grain sand or gravel. This will not work for small sand as the size between triop eggs and small sand is very minuscule. The first thing that you're going to need to do is take out your egg container out of your aquarium. Whether all of your triops have died or you just want to replace that container, whichever is fine. After removing the container, you can use a pipette to go deep in the sand and then get all of the water that is in there to decrease the drying process. After this, you're going to want to set it somewhere that it can be undisturbed for about two weeks to dry out. Preferably this isn't in the sun because you don't really want to cook these eggs. After these two weeks have passed, you can then begin preparing for the egg collection. So first off, once your media is dry, you need to separate the eggs from the sand. Typically when triops lay eggs, they get grouped into bunches and then they kind of stick to the sand, so this just breaks it up. After that, we're going to use an additional bowl and a colander and then a small tray. So kind of a prerequisite for this would be that your sand is large enough so that it doesn't fall through the calendar because essentially we're going to be relying that the eggs do fall through the calendar. So we're basically just going to be sifting through all of this media and trying to find the eggs. Typically you won't get many eggs during the beginning because all of the eggs have settled to the bottom of the container to the right. So this is just the uh, method I use. Here's another video to show a side view as well. Typically I do two passes through this just to make sure I get all of the eggs. After those two passes, you're pretty much gonna have all of the eggs that were in the sand here. So I'm just dumping into the original container. And then I'll show you guys how much eggs came out of this batch. So I'm gonna zoom in for you guys and most all of this is eggs, but there's also some triad poop and some small bits of sand, which we'll be separating next. Here's another view of all of the eggs. Again, it's mixed in with the sand, so it's not pure eggs yet, but we will get there. There's probably a couple hundred here, and they are pretty hard to see with the naked eye, but here's a macro shot I got with my phone. Most of the eggs are in great condition, but there are a few that got crushed, but that's just kind of typical for triop eggs. So the method I'm using now kind of relies on that the dust and poop isn't as round, and it's also not as heavy, so that when you shake it slightly sideways, it doesn't go to the bottom, but the eggs and small sand does. So then you can collect this triop poop and dust at the top, and basically dump everything else into another container so that you only have the triop eggs and bits of sand. And then you can repeat this process a couple times to get pretty much just pure triop eggs and small sand bits that did manage to get through the calendar. This is how much dust I got out. As you can see, it worked pretty well. Um, Make sure to keep this dust in the end because it will have probably a couple eggs in there so you can use that to start the next batch which is what I usually do and then I save off these eggs in my little egg bank I made. So do this a couple more times and then go on to the next thing which is basically using the calendar again but you don't really want to shake too hard because these sand particulars do fall through if you shake it a lot but if you don't shake it very much, then you will get a lot of the sand out. And you can also repeat this process a couple times until you get a sufficient amount of sand out to be happy. For me, I try to get as pure eggs as possible. As a result, this is what we have. And this is pretty much I'd say 99% pure triop eggs. There's a couple sand particulars in there, and then we got some dust as well. And then once I get all the pure eggs, I dump them into a smaller container so that they're easier to manage. 
It's also great working on a piece of paper just because you will lose a couple eggs but after you can just dump this piece of paper into the container. And now I just take a little funnel and then I dump it into my small jar filled with these eggs. This species in particular is Triops cankerformis but this will work for pretty much any triops or fairy shrimp or even sea monkey species. And then once that's done, I just put them right where I store them in my small triop egg container that I made. It's a nice little display I 3D printed and designed myself. It gives me a great view of all of the eggs that I have already collected and the ones I have yet to collect. Once you're done, make sure to empty all of the additional residue that was on the paper into a small thing, because as you can see, there are some eggs that escape, so you're going to want to keep these. And I just dumped these with the other dirt and debris particles that we collected earlier, and this is what I use to start my next tank. I pretty much always do this so I don't have to subtract off of any of my egg storage. After performing the dry egg extraction, we're going to move on to the wet egg extraction. I use this as kind of my last resort as for getting the eggs because I'm kind of afraid that they're going to hatch when I'm doing this process and obviously that's not the case because it takes a day or two for them to hatch. So mix it up as we did before, pour in some distilled water and then from here you're going to want to mix it up a little bit even more and then get all of these floating sand particles to go to the bottom. After that, you're going to see that there are eggs that we have missed, and using this method we can then remove those eggs and either keep them or use them for to start our next batch. So as you can see here, I'm going to unmount my phone and show you guys the eggs. The eggs really like to collect along the side because of the water adhesion, so you can see there's a couple eggs right here, and as you just go around the perimeter there's going to be more and more eggs. So we're going to be using a pipette to remove these eggs and then collect them in a smaller container. So now you're going to want to grab your pipette and your smaller container. And basically we're just going to be sucking up the edges in the perimeter of this container and then squirting it in the smaller container. It's actually kind of hard to get the eggs to go up the pipette because they kind of still want to stick to the side. but just do your best and then it takes a couple minutes. So you can either use these eggs to keep as storage or what I do is I use these eggs as like quote unquote extras and this is how I start my next batch of triops. I just dump these right in my hatchery. So after we're done with this step I'm going to show you guys now on how many eggs we collected from the perimeter of this. I'm going to unclip my phone from the mount and then as you guys can see here, we did collect quite a few eggs. You can see around the side of this small container. So if you are going to dry these out, what you're gonna need to do is take the pipette and then just start sucking up from the bottom of this container. And most of the eggs will stay on the side of the container because they'll be stuck to the side because of water adhesion. And this is a pretty easy way just to get all the water out. Now you don't have to get all of it, but I do like to get most of it so that the eggs don't really have water to hatch. And as you guys can see here, it's pretty dry. I mean, the eggs are still stuck together because they are wet, but the next step is to put them in the fridge so that it's too cold for them to actually hatch. Fridges are also usually low humidity, so this will help dry out the eggs as well. On the other hand, if you want to use them to start your next batch, well, just dump them right in your hatchery and have fun. These eggs should hatch in one to two days. Here are some that hatch from these eggs. So I hope you guys found this helpful and thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Thank you guys and have a good day and good luck.